First in the day, with all the talk about Brandon Knight, 49ers receiver, wants a trade, shows up for camp, holds in. Oh, what, 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 what have we here? Squeaky wheel. Trent Williams, left tackle, three years left on his contract, none of it's guaranteed, holding out. That's the way to deal with the 49ers. You can't, you can't be nice. See, it's a tough balance in any business. If you're too nice, you get screwed. If you're an asshole all the time, you don't last. You want to be compliant. You want to go along to get along. But at the same time, if you go too far with it, you get taken advantage of. There's a sweet spot there between being the nice guy and not finishing last. Between wanting what's yours but not pissing everyone off along the way to getting what's yours. It's not easy. But with the 49ers, we know the drill. They react when you get their attention. Is a hold-in going to get their attention or is a hold-out going to get their attention? What happened last year? Nick Bosa held out and he held out and he held out because the 49ers continue to drive a hard bargain. They want what they want. They ultimately gave in. Will they give in on Trent Williams? I'd say they're more likely to give on, on him and on Brandon Ayuk. Because once you show up, you're stuck. At some point, it's time to get to work. At some point, the player gives in. At some point, the players desire to go out and have a big season, to be part of a winning team, to finish the job that they thought they were going to finally complete last year. That takes over. And that's the most important thing to remember. For the player, you're in this situation maybe twice at the most, at least once if you're good enough. If you're lucky to be good enough at the NFL level, you're in this position of trying to fight for a contract. The teams do it all the time, every year. It's somebody else. It's somebody else. They know how to run this formula. They know the blueprint. They've, they've made the playbook. And they know how to play the different personality types. So Trent Williams holds out. Brandon Ayuk holds in, and I would bet, if I were inclined to do so, that Trent Williams is going to get his deal first. Or maybe they're going to feel compelled to work them both out, because that sends a horrible message to Brandon Ayuk if Trent Williams gets a new deal. But the reality is, Ayuk showed up. He could have stayed away. Kyle Shanahan was addressing the hold-in yesterday, and he spoke of it in terms of it being an advantage to the player. It's also an advantage to the team because the team knows where the player is and the team has the player there. And if you never work out a deal at some point, the player's got to go to work. If you hold out, you can dig in. And Shanahan made the comment about the fines that you would incur if you hold out no longer being rescindable by the team. For Ayuk, they are. For Williams, they aren't. For Ayuk, they are. Because if you're under your rookie contract, the fines can be rescinded. Bosa last year, rescindable. William's not, and he still stayed away. So whatever they pay him, they're going to have to add in the daily fine that he's going to rack up by staying away. But you got to know when to take a stand. And, and again, I'm not an advocate in the long snapper holding out because they'll cut you and sign another one. You've got to be on the right side of the continuum from long snapper to core player. You got to guess right. You got to have good advice, and you got to make your move. And you got to be ready to hold firm until you get what you want. Ayuk, for whatever reason, last week, I want to be traded. This week, he shows up. And now Trent Williams doesn't. I think that makes it harder for Ayuk. But we'll see how that plays out. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.